Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another fall makeup look. And today we are channeling all the burgundy, wine, cranberry, vampy vibes. And I wanted to do a cranberry look, but I didn't want it to be too, too overwhelming. You can, of course, create this look with any color, but I definitely wanted to lean in to the cranberry tones for fall. It was actually very, very easy. Anyone can do this look, and I'm going to show y'all exactly how I did it from start to finish. So we're going to do the face, the eyes, the lip, everything. I hope y'all are enjoying my fall makeup looks just as much as I am. I'm having so much fun playing with my makeup. This look is definitely one of my favorites that I've done so far. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. Make sure you grab a drink, grab a snack, grab your makeup if you want to do your makeup along with me, and cheers. I'm so excited about this look. This is one that I definitely had on my list to do and I'm excited to play with a bunch of burgundy tones. I've got my cute little burgundy top. This top is from Free People. I got this I think at the beginning of the year. I got it in this color in green and I just love it. Um, it's so fall. Okay, so I did already prep my skin. I actually did something a little bit different today. I used the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enrich Face Base. I just have this little sample size. Honestly, I'm just trying to use it up. It is really nice. I actually really like the smell of it, but I don't think it's like anything special. I normally use my Studio Radiance Primer, which I much prefer and love that, but figured we'd switch it up today. And then I also went ahead and just applied my Strobe Dewy Skin Tint. This is in the shade Medium 2. I just went ahead and applied that all over my face because I basically do that in every look, so I figured we'd just get that out of the way. But for foundation, I actually want to try something a little bit different. So I want to try Studio Fix Fluid, which has become my new obsession. I love this foundation so much. And I want to mix it in with, with Studio Radiance. Studio Radiance is gorgeous. It's not my favorite MAC foundation. It's just really thick. It's a little bit heavier than what I prefer in a foundation. So I think mixing these together might be a nice little combination. Honestly, I think I'm just gonna apply this with my hands and then blend it out with a brush. So I'm taking the shade NC38. I'm just gonna apply a little bit of that to my hand. I did self tan last night because I'm losing a lot of my color from the summer. So we'll see how this matches, but that is what I have. And I think I'm just gonna mix them together. But the boys are at a men's church conference this weekend. So I was here all by myself last night. And so I did all the things. I did a hair mask. I slept in a hair mask. I slept in my self tanner. I did all like the ugly prep that I normally don't like to do when uh, Chris and the boys are at home. So I got all my little beauty things done last night. I'm just gonna do a like a, a preliminary blend with these two and then I'll go in with my brush and further blend it out. All right, I'm just gonna take this little Charlotte Tilbury brush, just finish blending that. And per usual, I am air drying my hair. I took a shower this morning to get all the self tanner off. So my hair is air drying. I'm really trying not to use a bunch of heat on it. So I just like to let it air dry. It actually dries really nice. Like I have a lot of natural wave to my hair. So it actually dries pretty, dries, air dries pretty nice. And I use the pattern styling cream. Oh, it's the best. I use it, Chris uses it. I use it on the boys. It is the best styling cream. It's not crunchy. It's great if you have curly or wavy hair and you just want to accentuate your natural texture. Like it is the absolute best. And I buy it in the big jug. All right, so I think that's nice and blended. And then per usual, I'm doing a lot of my normal things that I always do. Bright forecast, just under the eyes. And then I'm actually gonna use Studio Radiance Concealer on the rest of my face. So MAC is currently 30% off in store and online, which is awesome. Unfortunately, not the whole website is on sale. It's only their like fall favorites. So they curated like a fall uh, playlist, if you will. So only 30% off on those items, which I was kind of bummed because I was really hoping their lip liners would be 30% off because they just came out with their new lip liners. I did pick up one of their new lip liners anyway, even though it wasn't on sale. I picked up the shade Grage. 
I am so excited. And then I picked up a few of their frost lipsticks, which I'm so excited to play with. I'm loving frost for the fall, whether it's on the lips or the eyes, like I'm just, I'm loving all the frostiness. And then I picked up one of their extra dimension blushes because I do not own that formula in their blushes. So I am so excited to play with that as well. And I got a nice little kind of what I feel like is gonna be a good fall tone. Oh, and also Mob Beauty is currently having their friends and family sale. So I picked up an extra palette because mine is full. So I picked up another one of these cause I'm gonna put all of my cream clay shimmer eyeshadows into one palette. So I have these kind of floating around. So I bought an extra palette for that. And then I also bought um, one of their cream blushes. Oh, actually I bought two cream blushes, that's right. Cause I'm gonna turn this into a face palette. So I'm gonna have my foundation, my cream bronzer. I already have a backup of this and then I'll have two blushes. And then in the new palette that I get, I'm gonna put my sparkle balm, which I use on my eyes and the cream clay eyeshadows. Oh, and then I bought one of their cake liners in this gorgeous like dark peacock shade. It looks so pretty and it's gonna be so pretty for the fall time. So I made a few makeup pur purchases this past week, but it's just so crazy that Mac and Mob are both on sale at the same time. And those two, they're my favorite brands. Like, oh, they're my favorite. I recommend everything from them. Let's do a little bit of cream bronzer. I think I'm just gonna use my MAC little cream contour kit here. Sephora 64 brush, which is my favorite brush to use with it. And this formula is different than the Mob Beauty Cream Clay Bronzer, which I have right here. This is more of like a cream to powder, kind of blurring feel to it. Cream to powder formula, very reminiscent of um, something like the Chanel Le Beige Bronzer. Whereas the MAC formula is a lot more stiff and it has a little bit more of a tacky feel to it. Uh, kind of more reminiscent of the Danessa Myricks Balm Contour. So that's kind of the differences between the two. The formulas are quite different. You don't need both. And I was originally going to pick up one of their new MAC's new sleek, what are they called? Their new sleek lipsticks, it's like they're, they combined their amplified, their cream sheen, and their satin formula, and this is like their new formula. Silky, sleek, I can't remember the name of it. I was gonna get one of those, but I really wanna go in store and swatch them, because I'm not sure what shade I wanna get. I think I wanna get Blankety, because I've never owned that shade before, but there were a bunch of other shades that I thought were really pretty too, and I didn't just wanna buy a bunch, so I definitely wanna go in store and swatch those before. I buy one of those. Okay, so I'm gonna go back in with Studio Radiance just right here on my under eye. And we'll just go ahead and take this underneath my cream bronzer. Normally I use my Bright Forecast for that, but I'll just use this. I just, I love this shirt so much. I haven't worn it since probably spring or maybe winter, the beginning of the year. I'm so excited to bust this out again. It's so pretty. All right, and then I'm just gonna take a clean little wedge sponge and go over my whole face. Right, per usual, I'm gonna set my face with my favorite Ben Nye Luxury Powder in the shade Buff. So for bronzer, I'm gonna use Sunstruck today. Then for blush, I'm gonna switch it up a bit. And I think I'm gonna do Love Joy from MAC. It's their mineralized blush and it's be really pretty. Actually, you know what's another good one? is Happy Go Rosy. It's a little bit more berry. That's pretty pink though. Maybe we'll mix the two. Let's lay down a little bit of cream blush first. I can't believe I forgot that. I like to layer my blushes. True Harmony. So I'm gonna lay that down as my base. Like hard to do my makeup without Glow Play Blush. I love using this on its own, but also just as a base for any powder blush. It's so pretty. Per usual, I have a hair on my face. We'll just do a little blush co cocktail here. And I'm just gonna mix these two. Lovejoy kind of tones down the pinkiness of Happy Go Rosy. And then just for a little bit more definition, contour palette 
and I'm just gonna take a little mixture of these bottom shades. Just add that right to the backs of the cheeks. Be a little on the forehead right at the top. And then of course, Fix Plus. Okay, so for the eyes, the eyeshadow palette that immediately came to mind is the MAC Connecting Color in Burgundy, Embedded in Burgundy. So Burgundy Eye, I feel like this is a great palette. You can of course use anything that you have in your collection. You do not have to use this exact palette, but these are the tones that we're gonna be working with, mainly this one right here. Maybe a little bit of this one. I also like this one as well. All right, so to start this look off, I'm gonna start with some pencils. And I actually wanted to try a new pencil. This is the Laura Mercier Caviar Eyeliner Pencil in the shade Coco. And it's just this, like, it's brown, but it has a little bit of like a purpley kind of undertone to it. I'm just gonna line my lash line very sloppily. It does not have to be perfect. Oh yeah, I love this color. It has like a little bit of a cranberry tint to it. I'm gonna take a brush, this is a rougher 28, and just smudge that in. This is my favorite way to do a smoky eye. Start with a liner and just smudge it into the lash line. It makes it fail proof, like you cannot mess this up. So I'm just kind of layering and building until it's the intensity that I want. And actually, I'm gonna do the same thing to my lower lash line and my lower waterline. Well, you know be a really pretty product for this is the Victoria Beckham Kajals in Kajal in the shade Bordeaux. I used to own that, but I decluttered it because it was so dried up. But that would be such a pretty color for this. All right, so now I'm gonna dip into this palette. I'm gonna take this shade right here, which is called a Chat. Same brush and I'm just gonna press this over top of that liner and then just slowly feather it upwards just to help make it more smoky and softer. Yeah, like you literally cannot mess this up. This is so easy and the less perfect, the better. I think the biggest thing with, a, with smoky eyes and just this look is choosing the right brushes, the right brush shape, because that can make a really big difference. And I'm gonna dip into this shade, which is called Ho, H-A-U-X. And I'm just gonna run that right along the edge of that burgundy shadow, just to help soften it even more. And I'm doing that on the upper and lower lash line. All right, so that did kind of lighten up that burgundy shade, so I'm gonna go back into that deep burgundy shade. Oop, there we go. And just re-intensify the lash line. Then I'm gonna go back in with my eyeliner and just run that along my lower lash or my uh, upper and lower lash line and waterline. Make sure to get those inner corners really good, the top and bottom. I really like to connect that top inner corner to the bottom inner corner. Now let's do a little bit of shimmer. So I'm thinking this shade right here, which is called Loading. I think that would be pretty. It's not like cranberry cranberry. It's more of like a taupey purple. And just, just tap that all over kind of just any empty space basically. And I did apply a little bit to the center and then just kind of worked my way up. But I want this to be pretty messy. Oh yeah, that's cool. Y'all know I love a good grungy eye. And then I'm gonna take that same shade and I'm gonna run that along my lower lash line as well. Just really smoke it out. All right, and then I'm gonna go back in with that burgundy shade and again, just re-intensify the lash line. All right, and I think that's it. I think I wanna leave the eyes like this. Let's do some mascara. I don't have a burgundy mascara, which would be really cool. Um, I think I'm gonna do brown. So I'm gonna go in with MAC Chestnut Stack. I'm gonna load up my top and bottom lashes and then we will be back. All right, so mascara's on. I'm gonna add some faux freckles. This is just a brown liquid lipstick. 
And then I'm also gonna go in with a little bit of Global Glow. And last thing for the face, I'm gonna take Studio Fix in NW25, just right here, this little inner triangle. Actually, I'm also gonna take a little bit just around the lip, just to cancel out any color so we can go in with our lip products. So for the lip, I thought Plum from MAC would be the perfect lip liner. So I'm gonna go in with that first, but I don't want it to be too harsh, so I'm gonna smooth it out with my finger. And I'm gonna slightly bring it in. I'm gonna go back in with a little bit more Plum. And then I'm gonna go in with Mobs M147. It's a really nice deeper brown and I'm gonna use this for definition. And then just blend it out with my finger. And then we'll go in with Organza. Yeah, adding Honey Love underneath kind of cooled it down a bit. I actually loved the way I used Organza in my last video if you did not see that. Oh, that was such a pretty lip combo. It's pretty. Okay, let's go in with a little bit more plum just to bring it all together. All right. I never know how these little front pieces are gonna turn out. <laughs> all right, and then one final step. I know this is gonna seem extra. I'm gonna take a tiny bit of my hourglass. Uh, this is the Vanish Airbrush Press Powder. I'm just gonna take a tiny bit of this on a puff and just take down the shine a little bit through the center. I want this to be a little bit more matte. All right guys, that is the completed look. This turned out so pretty. It's a way to incorporate burgundy into your makeup look without it just being like burgundy all over the eyes now that would be also a very cool look but i just wanted to kind of have a nod to burgundy um, especially with wearing a burgundy top i just didn't want it to overwhelm everything but this look turned out really pretty i'm loving this lip combo so so pretty it's a lot of products but we got here and I am loving it. So I hope y'all are enjoying all of my fall makeup looks. Make sure, make sure to check out my previous ones. I will list them down in the description box if you want to see some, uh, some other fall makeup looks that I've done so far this year. Thank y'all so much for watching. As always, remember, I love you, God loves you, and I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye, guys.